Russia is waging a shadow war on the West that needs a collective response, Estonian leader says. Here's a summary of the article. Because many Russian intelligence operatives already are sanctioned, Western officials and experts say the Kremlin is shifting tactics, hiring others for hybrid operations, non-military strategies including cyber attacks, election interference and disinformation, and attacks on foes of President Vladimir Putin. Callas cited a warning from an intelligence agency to a European country that one of its warehouses was targeted by Russian military intelligence. Estonia has taken the challenge of finding Russian agents of influence, very seriously, since regaining independence from the USSR, in 1991, rebuilding its security services from scratch, US Ambassador George Kent told AP. This year in Estonia, a university professor was arrested on charges of spying for Moscow, 13 people were arrested over attacks allegedly organized by Russian military intelligence operating under diplomatic cover, and flights between Finland and the city of Tartu were disrupted by Russian jamming of GPS signals. Britain expelled Russia's defense attaché in May after two British men were accused of working with Russian intelligence services to set fire to a London warehouse. Bulgarian investigative journalist Christo Grozev, who exposed Russian intelligence involvement in poisoning former spy Sergei Skripal in 2018 in Britain and the late opposition leader Alexei Navalny in 2020, was a victim of such outsourcing. Although Russia has been blamed for attacks in Europe for decades, Estonian officials and security experts indicated there's no collective mechanism for dealing with them, and suggested the EU do more. Kallis says Russia uses spies in the guise of diplomats, all the time, and senior Estonian officials support a Czech initiative limiting visas for Russian envoys to the country where they are posted. This post received a score of 3,900, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Once again, Eastern European leaders telling the collective West to wake up. I wonder if the West will listen? I remember reading news stories from like 10 years ago about Eastern European countries trying to battle Russian disinfo. We did not listen. I remember several weeks ago von der Leyen saying that we should have listened to our Eastern European partners more. And yet here we are. I believe we've been under attack for years at this point. When I was watching FB meme groups turn into anti side, I knew there was something up. Then Crimea. Whenever I talked about being concerned about Russia, I was just called a Democrat. For real, I started seeing a big change back in 2012 on face fail. Estonia is one of the countries that will likely be targeted militarily if Putin is allowed to continue on with his madness as well. If they weren't a part of NATO and the threat of a NATO response didn't exist, they could be conquered in less than a day. This is the same country that doesn't have a single combat-ready aircraft in its air force and has less than 50 tanks in its land arsenal. And yet, which is just to clarify that the lack of combat aircraft and armored vehicles is not due to a lack of effort on their own defense, but a conscious choice to focus their limited budgets on infantry and territorial defense considering that the largest of them has around the same population, and 4x lower GDP, as Greater Denver. The Baltic states are some of the relatively few NATO countries that actually consistently meet their defense spending obligations. War has changed and this attack through social media, hacking and misinformation is the latest evolution. Russia is attacking the West and the West is burying their heads while trying to deal with the fallout. Russia has declared war. Duh, what do you think Donald Trump as president was? Well, there's an evil government invading another country in Europe, with the support of another more minor country with a similar government. The evil governments also seem to respect one another but not enough for a full-blown alliance. Man, the remake is just copying the one before with more CGI. WW3 is just about here, we just need one more thing. If WW3 is almost here then it's time to take 100 trillion out in debt, Quit all of our jobs and throw a killer end of the world party for a year straight. Plenty of targets in Ukraine and just over the border in Russia are available for a nice direct response. It's rare that you get to drop bombs on Russian invaders, we really need to get in on this while we can. 
hundreds of thousands of targets, just begging to be smote. I fully support getting clearance from Ukraine to enter their airspace, cutting a swath straight through Crimea and back around through Donbas and out again. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.